thank you for choosing the MedSled Evacuation Basket and Rack System as your preferred emergency evacuation devices for high-risk infants. During an emergency evacuation, when timing is critical, your evac basket and rack system enable your staff to transport your high-risk infants to an alternative care site where they will be safely and securely maintained until transport locations are secured. The objective of this training video is threefold. The first objective is to provide an overview of the evac basket and rack system so you have a basic understanding of the product features. Secondly, we will demonstrate the use of the basket and rack system. And lastly, we will demonstrate how to properly put the system away in an evacuation ready state. This system was designed specifically for the evacuation of high risk NICU or PICU newborn infants. The basket provides a safe and secure hands-free infant evacuation, allowing the clinician to provide high frequency ventilation and or medical attention. The evacuation basket accommodates IV bags, life-sustaining equipment, and includes a storage compartment for supplies and charts. The baskets are lightweight and decon capable. Each basket comes with a vest or harness, which quickly connects to the basket to hold it securely in place. Earlier versions of our baskets included a one-size-fits-all vest. In 2014, we modified the vest and now include a more simplified harness with each basket. Additionally, we offer an O2 EVAC pack style harness as an option. We will demonstrate each of these in this training video. The rack system provides a safe and secure means of maintaining up to six baskets in your alternative care site until transportation arrives. The rack eliminates the need to have makeshift infant beds at your alternative care site. It secures the baskets for easy waist height accessibility to the infants. It is made of forged aluminum and can hold up to 600 pounds. The rack requires no assembly and can be deployed in less than one minute. Once deployed, the rack can hold up to four IV poles and is decon capable. The baskets simply slide on and lock securely to the rack. We are now ready to demonstrate the use of the evacuation basket and rack system. As mentioned earlier, we will demonstrate the proper use of the vest, harness, and O2 evac pack. The original evac basket is a one-size-fits-all. It may be necessary to overlap the front panels. There is a Velcro strip on the inside panel that will hold it in place. It is very important to tighten the waist buckle to the vest as tight as possible. If necessary, pull the back side of the vest down as far as possible, ensuring that the back of the vest is pulled away from the neck. Prior to connecting the evac basket to the vest, ensure the basket is properly oriented. The black buckles on the basket should be furthest away from the evacuator. From a flat surface or while a second person holds the basket, connect the four buckles, black to black and brown to brown. Once you have connected the basket to the vest, push down on the mattress to fully deploy the basket. Next, adjust the height of the basket. The ideal height is typically where the top of the evac basket is just at or slightly above your belt line. This will ensure that you have easy access to the baby and avoid making contact with the bottom of the basket as you walk. In 2014, we transitioned to a one-size-fits-all harness. This is much like putting on a backpack. After connecting the chest strap and tightening shoulder straps, you are now ready to connect to the basket. As previously shown, ensure proper basket orientation with black clips in front. Connect black to black and brown to brown. From this point on, the process is the same as demonstrated with the vest system. Use front and back straps to adjust height up or down as needed. This ensures you have easy access to the baby and avoid making contact with the bottom of the basket as you walk.
As an option to the harness, we offer an O2 EVAC pack which accommodates an E or D size oxygen tank. The use of the O2 EVAC pack functions just like the harness. After connecting the chest strap and tightening the shoulder straps, you are now ready to connect to the basket. Ensure the basket is properly oriented with the black clips facing forward. Then connect the buckles, black to black and brown to brown. From this point on, the process is the same as demonstrated with the harness. Use front and back straps to adjust height up or down as needed. This enables you to have easy access to the baby and avoids making contact with the bottom of the basket as you walk. The O2 EVAC pack accommodates an E or D size oxygen tank. Loading the O2 tank will require assistance. This compartment can also be used to hold additional supplies. Once you have properly adjusted the basket and prior to loading the baby, load any supplies or records into the storage area under the basket. You are now ready to load the baby. All of our vests come equipped with a clip to connect any IVs. Utilizing the cross straps, secure the baby in the basket. Depending on the size of the baby and your preference, connect the cross straps horizontally or crisscross. If other equipment needs to be transported with the baby, depending on the size and weight, it can be placed in the basket, in the storage area, or carried separately. You are now ready to evacuate to the assigned extraction location. This section of the EVAC basket training will cover the EVAC basket rack system deployment and basket loading process. Once the evacuation process has started, a separate team should be deployed to set up the rack at the designated extraction zone. This is a simple four-step process. First, remove the rack from the storage bag. Disconnect the black buckle at the end of the rack and unfold. Next, slide the locking bars on each side of the rack. Once locked, unfold the legs and footings and turn the rack upright. Once upright, check both legs and all four footings to ensure they are fully deployed and in the locked position. The rack system allows the placement of four IV poles. Two are included with each rack system. The EVAC rack holds a maximum of six baskets, three per side. The evacuator can approach the rack at either end. To secure the basket on the rack, slide the basket mounting brackets onto the rail, ensuring both brackets slide over the top and bottom rails. Once the baskets are securely on the rack, Hook the IV bag to the appropriate pole, then unbuckle the vest from the basket. After loading a basket, secure it in place by inserting the locking pins. There is a locking pin located at the end of each rail. All four pins should be in place whenever baskets are on the rack. With each additional baby, pull locking pin and repeat the process.
Each basket has its own storage pocket, which is easily accessible when baskets are on the rack. The first step is to remove the baskets from the rack. It is very important to ensure you store the evac basket and rack system in an evacuation ready state. This includes cleaning your evacuation baskets and rack system utilizing decon wipes to remove dirt and contamination. After all six baskets and IV poles have been removed, we are now ready to put the rack away. First, flip the rack over and fold in the footings. Using the gray clips, connect the IV poles to the legs. Fold legs down into the rack base. Next, slide both locking bars into their unlocked positions and fold rack in half. Properly place the four locking pins back into their storage positions. Once secure, fasten black buckle. Now place the rack back into its carry bag. The EVAC basket and rack system storage device holds six baskets and one rack. Utilize the two straps to secure the rack inside the storage device and tighten appropriately. Next, place two baskets stacked on top of each other in three rows. Always put the evacuation baskets and rack system away properly and return to its assigned storage location so you are always evacuation ready.